truth out. One of the women I interviewed was actually a woman who had voted her entire life before she had gone to prison. And during her three and a half years in prison, she had continually been told that she had lost her right to vote. So she was no longer Where was able she in to. She was in prison in a federal prison in Danbury, Connecticut. Federal prisons house people who are from all over the country. The people in the prison may not necessarily know or care about the individual state laws. And when she returned to New York State, she technically was allowed to vote. And she went for years, thinking that she had lost that right. And it was not until she attended her friend's wedding at City Hall and happened to see a poster stating that she had the right to vote, if she had a, even if she had a felony conviction, that the light bulb went off in her head that she could register. So she went to the voter information table and asked the person there, and they said, yes, you do indeed have the right to vote. He handed her a registration form, she filled it out, and she received her voter registration card. But had she not looked at that poster, she might have gone for years, if not the rest of her life, thinking that she did not have that right.